Hello and welcome to Grace, Gratitude, and Generosity, the video ministry of Robbinsdale Parkway United Church of Christ. I'm Reverend T. Michael Rock, and I get to be one of the co-pastors here, and it's such a joy to be with you today. Um, this past week, I talked to our congregation about feeling that the Spirit is calling me to a new thing in ministry, and it is. I really feel like the time I've spent serving in this place has been one of the greatest joys of my life. The people that I've connected with have transformed me and healed me. Um, I went through a life altering experience, not just with growing family, but um, stage four cancer ravaged my body, a year of chemotherapy. And now I'm just free of that. And, and this congregation healed me, your prayers, your love, your connection, opened up a way for my body to fight off cancer for the medicines and the doctors and, and the spirit to move in my body and say that that's not welcome here. That this person here has something greater to do in their life and, and deeper connections to have. And we're not going to let an inoperable tumor stop this person. So thank you. Thank you for being there for me and and helping me on my path to healing and transformation. Along the way, we've expanded and grown and done all these amazing things. And, and, and now it's time. It's time for me to kind of say, the, what's the last thing I can do for this beautiful congregation? And that's to hopefully find a way to not just celebrate the ministry we have shared together, but to save the congregation from having to have to decide about who is who gets to be uh, a pastor of this amazing congregation, T. Michael or Kathy. We love our shared ministry so much. And so I love it so much. And I love the community so much that it's time to go. That it's time to move to this next phase. And I don't really know what it is, but I do feel the sense of the spirit moving me out into the world to serve the world not a local church, but to serve the greater world. So I'm looking into working in nonprofits, uh, finding an issue-based thing that I'm passionate about and making a difference for a, a large group of people that are struggling, that are outside the, uh, uh, the ways resources generally flow in this world, which is towards wealthy and whiter people. I wanna serve people who are on the margins. I'm going to serve folks who um, don't get the benefit of the doubt. I've loved my work when I've worked in prisons and and when I've worked in places that um, where people are struggling. You know, whether it's deeply affordable housing or being on the front lines helping women find their way to healthcare through protesters and honoring their right to choose. That's deeply impactful work. And it's, it's part of the work that's healed me as a part of this congregation. But to be able to do that full time just is very exciting for me. And I wrap that experience of finding your passion and moving towards the world as a way that we all reflect and understand who we are and who God calls us to be. That we all can make an impact when we kind of leave our safety and comfort behind and move out into a place of growth and deeper understanding of the wider world. I have deep passion about the more than human world. I can imagine me being called into uh, an environment where I'm working deeply in for indigenous rights and for the rights of the air and the land and the water. What an amazing thing that would be to spend my full-time work moving into a place that affects every form of life. There's so many things out there that I'm interested in that I'm passionate about. And I think that's one of the things that I've learned among you all is that I hear your stories. I hear your stories of passion around kindness and justice and love and immigration and, and people who are unhoused and, and all kinds of things. And I've taken on those passions and, and I just love that. 
I've heard your stories of what it means to be affirmed for one's gender. I've heard your stories about what it's like to be present for people who are new to this, this country and trying to find their way. I've heard your passions and I have been moved and transformed by your stories. Your stories of, of finding a way through a hard time, through an unwanted pregnancy or, or through a, a struggle for your own health care. And boy, I, I want to be there um, and do that all the time. I've heard your stories, friends, of what it's like to live with, with a d- disabling condition, but it doesn't disable your heart or your mind, it's giving you new insight for the the vastness and wonder of human life. Friends, I just love the fact that I've been able to be among you to share in your passions. And I ask for your forgiveness and your prayers as, as I move out into that world. And I know the Spirit will guide me wherever that is. And I want to thank you deeply in this setting of grace, gratitude, and generosity, because those things I take with me, those grounding principles that we share together, that forgiveness is the root of all relationships, The generosity is what we do when we share our lives with each other and our lives are better for it, and gratitude as a way of being, every day waking up and saying, this day is so blessed and beloved. So I may leave my role in this congregation, but my love for you all will always remain. Thank you for letting me be your pastor and teacher. It has been one of the greatest gifts of my life. 